being an idiot. The law in New Mexico stipulates that all citizens have the right to vote, with exceptions for individuals deemed idiots or those convicted of felonies. However, since the law doesn't provide a clear definition of what constitutes an idiot, it's unclear whether this provision could ever be enforced. Getting Married The state of Nebraska prohibits individuals from getting married if they have a sexually transmitted disease, STD, although this regulation has not been actively enforced. Similarly, bear wrestling is also banned in the state. Bear Wrestling In Alabama, there are strict laws against promoting or participating in bear wrestling. This encompasses activities such as selling tickets to bear wrestling matches or training bears for fighting. Cockfighting Cockfighting is a brutal blood sport that involves training roosters to fight until death or incapacitation. It's illegal in all 50 states, with Louisiana being the final state to ban it in 2007. As for the mention of bow and arrows in Nome, it seems like there might be a context or reference missing here. Bow and Arrows In Alaska, it's illegal to carry a bow and arrow at any time for any reason, despite bow and arrow hunting being generally permitted throughout the entire state. As for camel hunting in Arizona, it seems there may be confusion or misinformation, as camels are not native to Arizona, and hunting them is not a common practice in the state. Camel Hunting the hunting of camels is indeed banned in Arizona, which might seem odd since camels aren't native to the state or anywhere in the United States. However, before the Civil War, the U.S. Army conducted experiments with camels in the Arizona desert. Honking your horn Wearing a certain item of clothing in Little Rock, Arkansas after 9 p.m. is prohibited. Specifically, it's against the law to honk your car horn in front of a sandwich shop or any establishment that serves cold drinks. So, ensure you complete your honking before nighttime arrives. Wearing a mask A few years ago, the requirement to wear a mask when going out in public was unpopular among many Americans. However, those who are not fond of wearing masks may want to consider relocating to Walnut City, California, where all mask wearing is banned, even during Halloween. In this city, individuals are required to obtain permission from a sheriff to wear a mask. Frog eating. Frog jumping competitions are highly popular, but according to the law, if a frog dies during the contest, it cannot be consumed. Instead, the body must be disposed of promptly. Regarding throwing missiles at. Throwing missiles at cars. Alamosa, Colorado, prohibits throwing missiles at moving vehicles, so if you're considering real-life Mario Kart activities, it's best to avoid this city. As for kissing on Sundays, kissing on Sundays. In Hartford, Connecticut, there is a law that prohibits men from kissing their wives on Sundays. Like many other obscure laws, this one is probably rarely enforced, if ever. Internet Cafes In 2013, former Florida Governor Rick Scott inadvertently passed a law aimed at curbing illegal gambling within Internet cafes. However, due to poor drafting, the law ended up banning all Internet cafes altogether. Despite this, many Internet cafes still operate, with some new ones even being established. These cafes argue that they are not involved in the illegal gambling activities the law targeted. Being near weed. Marijuana remains illegal in numerous states, with Idaho adopting particularly stringent measures. Not only does Idaho penalize the individual smoking the weed, but also anyone present in the vicinity, even if they're unaware of the activity. Violators could face fines of up to $300 and a jail term of up to 90 days. Saggy pants. As recently as 2011, Wearing saggy pants was prohibited in some places. The law mandated that pants must be securely fastened at the waist to prevent them from falling more than three inches below the hip, thereby exposing the wearer's undergarments. Shooting fish. In Indiana, it's against the rules to catch fish using your bare hands or shoot them with a gun. These regulations ensure fair and sustainable fishing practices while maintaining safety for both fishermen and the environment. Toy guns. In Kansas City, children are prohibited from purchasing or playing with cap pistols, but they are permitted to buy real shotguns. 
It's an interesting juxtaposition of regulations that reflects the diverse attitudes and laws regarding firearms and toy weapons in different regions. Cursing at Playgrounds In Cumberland, even children are prohibited from using profanity at playgrounds, regardless of their age or the circumstances. It's a strict rule aimed at maintaining a family-friendly environment and promoting respectful behavior among all visitors. Large Christmas Trees In Massachusetts, the permissible size of your Christmas tree is contingent on the dimensions of your car. If your tree exceeds the size of your vehicle, you might attract the attention of law enforcement. As for peeing outdoors, it's generally discouraged and may lead to legal consequences depending on the circumstances and location. Peeing outside. If you're walking on a trail in Michigan and feel the urge to urinate, it's advisable to hold it in. Being caught relieving yourself outdoors could result in a hefty fine of $500, a 90-day jail sentence, and potentially being labeled as a sex offender permanently. Wearing a hat. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, it's against the law to wear a hat indoors, regardless of whether you're in a theater, auditorium, restaurant, or any place of amusement. This rule applies even if you're feeling cold and tempted to keep your head covered. So, if you're in these establishments, remember to remove your hat as a sign of respect for the venue's rules. Getting Drunk In Alaska, it's against the law to become intoxicated inside a bar. If you're already drunk, you're not allowed to enter, and if you become intoxicated while inside, you're required to leave. This regulation is rigorously enforced to maintain order and safety in drinking establishments. Spitting in Arizona, it's illegal to spit in public, whether it's on the road, sidewalk, or any other surface. Violating this law could result in a hefty fine of $2,500 and a six-month prison sentence. This strict regulation is enforced to maintain cleanliness and public hygiene. Non-bouncing pickles. In certain parts of the United States, such as Connecticut, there's a unique law regarding pickles. If a pickle fails to bounce when dropped from a height of one foot, it cannot be sold or consumed. This law originated as a standard for pickling quality and safety, ensuring that pickles were properly fermented and preserved. Eating fried chicken wrong. Believe it or not, in the state of Georgia, the poultry capital of the world, there's a legally correct and incorrect way to consume fried chicken. If you choose to eat it with a fork and knife, you could find yourself in trouble with the law. Instead of just strange looks, you might even face arrest, a fate that, at least in this case, seems reserved for those who prefer utensils over fingers when indulging in this southern delicacy. Billboards I agree. The law in the beautiful state of Hawaii banning commercial billboards and aerial advertising is a commendable effort to preserve the natural beauty of the surroundings. While there are some exceptions, this regulation provides an opportunity to escape from the ubiquitous corporate advertising that often dominates urban landscapes. Snowballs In Topeka, Kansas, it's oddly illegal to throw a snowball, with the law equating soft snowballs to stones or missiles. However, there's hope, as not every politician there seems completely out of touch. In 2005, the former mayor bravely defied this absurd law by throwing a snowball at a tree and loudly advocating for its repeal. Cursing while driving. In Rockville, Maryland, it's against the law to swear while driving on any street or highway. Disregarding this regulation could result in a $100 contribution to the city's swear jar. It's best to keep your thoughts to yourself and refrain from using foul language while behind the wheel to avoid any penalties. Dancing to the National Anthem In Massachusetts, it's prohibited to dance to the National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. This regulation may stem from a perception that dancing during the anthem is unpatriotic. However, some might argue that the law itself could be viewed as unpatriotic as it potentially infringes upon the First Amendment right to freedom of expression. Seaweed Collecting In New Hampshire, it's illegal to collect seaweed from any beach during nighttime hours. So, if you're inclined to gather seaweed, it's best to wait until morning to avoid breaking the law. Playing Bingo 
In Bensalem, Pennsylvania, individuals with felony convictions are permanently barred from playing bingo or participating in bingo nights. This regulation prohibits felons from engaging in the game. Sombreros. However, dancing with one on is not allowed. So, if you're planning to dance, make sure to take off your sombrero before hitting the dance floor to avoid any legal issues. Having a cold? In Washington, it's against the law to walk outside while suffering from a contagious cold. Violators could face fines for disregarding this regulation, which aims to prevent the spread of illness to others. Trick or treating. In both Newport News and Chesapeake, Virginia, there are restrictions on trick or treating. If you're over the age of 12, you're not allowed to participate, or you could face a substantial fine of up to $100, a jail term of six months, or both. Apple pie without ice cream. Vermont state law mandates that any restaurant serving apple pie must make a good faith effort to serve it with a glass of cold milk, a slice of cheddar cheese weighing half an ounce, and a generous scoop of vanilla ice cream. Sharing your Netflix password. In Tennessee, the governor signed a bill into law prohibiting people from sharing their Netflix password or any other subscription streaming service password. Getting arrested. In Ohio, there's a law stipulating that individuals can't be arrested on Sundays, the 4th of July, or during a session of the state Congress. Drinking in the morning. In New York City, there used to be a law prohibiting restaurants from serving alcoholic drinks before noon, but this law has been amended to allow service starting at 10 a.m. Texting while walking. In Hawaii and Fort Lee, New Jersey, Texting on your phone while walking is banned and could result in an $85 ticket if you violate this regulation. Lying down on a sidewalk. In Reno, Nevada, it's against the law to lie down on a sidewalk unless it's deemed an emergency situation.